Good morning, my dear students. Welcome once again to our class in this subject, Law-Related Studies. So, after you have watched the video on the introduction, I hope that at this moment, naana may glimpse sa kung unsa ang nature sa atong subject karon nga semester. So, do you have any questions or points of clarifications? So, if in case na amoy mga portion or points that are not clear, you just kindly write your questions in the comment section or you can have it asked dito sa atong uh, group chat. Okay? So, today, let us now start with the first lesson on this subject, law related study our first topic will be about rights or in our dialect it is katungod of course with your age i know that you have this understanding of what katungod is nakasabot mo o naka experience in fact unsaon paggamit ang katungod Matag tao, matag usa na to, na atay gitawag nga katungod. Diba? So, what are your experiences with katungod? What are your experiences of rights? Siguro, usa sa mga experiences is relative sa atong cellphone. No? That is common today. Each and every one of us has a cell phone. Now, if I am the owner of my cell phone, though it is my mother who bought it for me, or it's given to me, but the fact is, the cell phone is mine. So, na ako'y katungod sa ahong cell phone. I can do whatever I want to do with my cell phone. And in fact, Napukoy katungod nga dili ipakuwam, nga dili ipagamit ang ahong cellphone sa mga tao nga gusto mo gamit ni ini. You know, in the family, perhaps your younger brother or younger sister wants to use your cellphone para magduwa og ML, but then, tungod kay ikaw ang tag-iza, you have the right na akay katungod sa pag-deny sa maong request. Okay, so this is just one of the examples that will illustrate what cell phone is. Na akay katungod, do na kay gahum sa usa ka butang. For example, sa usa ka relationship, na anaman jud tay mga uyab or na anaman moy mga na anaman moy mga uyab. So, sa imong uyab, because of your relationship, na akay katungod, you have the right to demand for his or her time. No? Muna nga, kung why oras ang uyab para ni mo, it's either nga masuko ka or mangaway ka. And you can do this because na akay katungod. Lahi kung wa kay katungod if you have no right over something. No? So in my case, ang usa kasakjanan dilip Aho, wa ako'y katungod sa paggamit ni ini. And in fact, dili ko pwede nga muhikap or musakay sa usa kasakjanan nga dili aho. Tungod kay wa ako'y katungod, wa ako'y gahom sa paggamit ni ini. Or in terms of relationship again, kung wa ako'y relasyon sa usa katao, if you don't have any relationship with a person, then you don't have any right to demand for his or her time. So, these are our experiences about right. And of course, daghan pata, daghan pata ng mga experiences no, of right based on our relationships, based on our possessions, based on anything that we have. So long as we are living in a society, ang katungod, no, right, is one of the important issues or one of the important concerns that we should have. Now, in the context of education, 
we also have to recognize that students have right ang mga isudyante do na na sila ay mga katungod kamo na amoy mga katungod and in one case that was decided by the Supreme Court no ang statement sa Supreme Court nagingon nga students do not shed off their rights once they enter the school premises but pasabot ang mga estudyante they are individuals and they also have rights that they enjoy outside the school premises no sa komunidad sa barrio sa lungsod na anak sila mga katungod no nga dapat ilhon nga dapat i recognize ug dapat i respeto now once they enter the school gates the school premises miingon ang supreme court wa mawa wa matangtang ang ilang mga katungod the rights that they enjoy outside will be the same rights that they will enjoy and they can demand and claim when they enter the school premises but no do nay but nga gibutang ang supreme court it says these rights are somehow regulated no kani nga mga katungod ga regulate gilimitahan Ano man because students no the main purpose why students come to school and study is for them is for you to be trained no to be formed there is formation there is training now if you will always demand for your right just as how it is recognized and acknowledged outside the school campus then there can be no formation or training that can be made possible kung magsige na lang mo demand sa inyong katungod pareho sa katungod nga inyong na enjoy sa gawas sa eskwelahan then lisod ang pagtrain why training o impossible ang training nga mahitabo o ang formation nga mahitabo tungod kay magsige lang mo og demand sa inyong right Mao na nga miingon ang Supreme Court nga though students do not shed off their rights when they enter the school premises but these rights are being regulated being controlled to give way to formation and training Sabtan do na bay mga questions sa ahong gisulti no if ever you have questions kindly just write it down in the comment section Okay, so this time let us look into the rights of the students in relation to the school. You see, there are different understanding and there are different perspectives relative to rights, how right of the student is viewed relative or in relation to the school. The first is contractual. So the right of the students vis-a-vis -vis, or in relation to school is contractual in nature dunay kontrata okay dunay agreement sa duha it is an agreement between the school and the student no there is a contract that binds between the school as the first party and the student as the second party they come to an agreement they come to a contract and what does this contract contain the moment that a student pays the tuition no, the tuition fee even if it is not yet fully paid partial basta the moment ganing bayad ang estudyante sa tuition then nahitabo na karon ang kontrata and what is this contract between the student and the school on the part of the student no on some purpose nga no may school man ang estudyante to earn a degree to undergo training and formation to attend classes so mao na ang gidiga mao na ang gipangadyo mao na ang gidemand 
the interest of the student when he paid for his tuition. He expects that once he paid the tuition, then he can receive instruction, he can attend classes, and eventually he can be given or awarded the degree, Bachelor of Science in Education, major in social studies after four years. On the other hand, the school in this contract demands that the student will abide by its rules and regulations. The school will provide the degree to the students so long as the students will abide by the rules and regulations of the school. Okay, so this is an agreement between the school and the student. It is a contract, no? And each party, the school as the first party and the student as the second party are expected to abide by this agreement. So that, kung doon ay party nga dili mutuman sa ilang ikasabutan, then there is a breach of contract and therefore, they, each of them, can look for remedy.